What's up guys? This is the Roman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire and this will be an hour special. So to pick up where we left off last time, uh, we are relieving garrison at Breslau. We are marching Mahmoud Riza southeast to go and hit this force under Gotthelf Menge. And the idea is that hopefully we will do so much damage they will retreat westward and hopefully they will naturally retreat westward following that back to their own lines uh, rather than causing us lots of trouble in this region so without further ado let's crack on they got lots of no well very limited artillery mostly infantry got a couple of interesting units but we are going to destroy them that's certainly my intention anyway because right now it would be well we're making very good progress in our Ottoman Empire campaign, we are pushing westward very strongly. We are gearing up to push down into Mughal territory. This is quite a lovely bit of terrain. So let's form a more traditional line. cover on the flanks. I am going to push up because they have such li so little artillery. I mean, to be honest, by the looks of it, this is a really quite a funky deployment zone. I don't want to deploy too much further up, though. I want to keep my line as a line rather than a, than a flying V. Let us bring doom. To the German Republic. Which my guys are going to run. To be honest, let my heart says just drop round shot because right now they can't do anything useful. Run the cavalry up. There's enemy cavalry while well, my infantry moves up. Me and my field artillery, artillery can continue to engage their horse artillery. Okay, their cavalry's pulled back. No, it hasn't, it's just hidden in the woods. They've hit my Mamelukes with a volley of musketry. My Sipahi will definitely cause them some trouble. So I've got a massive extension on the flank, so let's curl my troops in. Yeah, these Death's Head Hussars. They are going to make it. I just want to let them touch my infantry before deploying them into square. And there we go, get them back out of square. Nice, Pahi can go for the general's bodyguard. My janissaries are hunkering down ready to break through the lines. Cavalry's doing some good damage against their cavalry. Uh, there we go, some good volley fire into their lines. This is part of the good, one of the good things about um, the Ottomans is that they do have 
because your infantry units are so big, you do create this massive battle line that you can just envelop their uh, their infantry. Just chase them a little bit more, just to try and shatter them. There they go. Charge my Sipahi into the blunderbuss shotgunners. And a lot of death in the centre. Friendly fire from the Freikorps have almost caused their uh, infantry to rout. Push up again. The general's been killed. Deploy the Mamelukes. Bring my general to bear as well. Yeah, the blunderbuss shotgunners are down. Chase down the death's head hussars. Chase down the artillery, if that's what they want. They're not going to be on the battlefield for very long because the edge of the map is very close. Try to kill their artillery there. Oh, well, these poor superior line infantry. They're going to do a lot of damage because they're at point blank, but so are all my guys. Yeah. Chase down the expat infantry. Just chase down whatever we can get hold of. Yeah. Okay, let's break these Sipahi off. Could like them to try and chase down some of these other units. Marines will do. They're going to escape. Get them to push up. You guys keep engaging. If only my Mamelukes would beat this regiment of horse, that would be quite nice. Superior line infantry have come back, so let's charge them down with my heavies. Come on, their cavalry's wavering. Deers would be a nice kill. So with those grenadiers, damn right we're going to continue. Bring the general back, let's turn off all the artillery. You go and set the 11th. My Sipahi here can continue to chase down these troops. You guys just run in, ready to intercept one of those guys. There we go, run down the Grenadiers. Stop firing.
Good stuff. Just a trail of potties behind those grenadiers. These mercenaries are going down quick. Let's run my infantry out of the way. Good, they've all been caught in the woods. One mercenary infantryman left and he is now dead. So let's speed up time. Because now it's everyone against <laughs> this lone unit of mercenary infantry. And they are dead. Close victory? I think not. Fantastic victory. Lovely victory. Delicious, sweet victory. That's what that is. 800 lost. Ottomans, we have killed 3,000 of theirs. Obviously they row in the most inconvenient direction. Well, sort of. You guys auto-resolve against Wolfgang Voss. Good. So you guys replenish. These guys replenish. These guys replenish. Okay, let's pick up some Semini to garrison this port to prevent any push through northern Berlin, or through northern Germany, not northern Berlin. Okay, so you've got siege guns. Have you been equipped with siege guns? Pull one of your artillery units out, replace it with a siege gun. Let's march you towards there. You can wait to receive a siege gun. Let's march the spare artillery up together. So you can probably have... You can probably lose an infantry unit and gain a siege gun. So let's put a Nizam unit in the city to bring them up to full strength. Actually, no. You lost a infantry unit to make that. So you go over here, join the, the, oh, the uh, cast-offs, castaways. Okay, you lose a Sepahi unit and replace it with a Circassian Armoured Cavalry. Good stuff. One thing I do want to check on is we have Dagestan. Can we leave Dagestan? Nope, because they'd be very unhappy. Not if we build a coffee house. We've got this army retrained, re equipped, and sent south. You require. We want to get your Janissary Grenadiers in two turns, and then you'll be off. Baghdad is waiting for more troops. There we go. Okay, sweet, good stuff. So now this guy's converting a Malta. It wouldn't be long till this force is ready to push out. Minus four. Okay, one more turn at least to minus three. But the resistance to foreign occupation, the uh, religious unrest should go down. But then I'll send them to go hit Tunis. Uh, this army can go hit this small ragged force here at this farmland. Territory is now ours. So they're in a good position to go hit Sarajevo. So then you can march down here. Can't repair the city, but keep pushing. Okay, then over here. See, so you're still on the run towards uh, New Orleans. 
Okay, I think that's everything. Let's probably hit end turn. Slow our agents to push forward. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's so nice to see the armies of Prussia and Austria just flailing ahead of our glorious troops because they know there is nothing they can do to stop us. They're going up towards the north of Germany, which is a bit dangerous because we've only got one army on a bridge, which means they could end up being attacked from both sides. So they'll probably want support. I don't like how they're garrisoning that port because it looks like they might be looking for a way out. Scholars are pushing eastward because they've lost all of their schools, so they may as well go on an offensive research strategy. It will only be a matter of time before Sweden declares on us, but I do want them to declare on us. I don't want to declare on them. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so Louisiana has become garrisoned. It may be I needed more strength than I thought I did to land and take the take territory on the mainland United States away from the uh, away from the Mughal Empire. That's not good. I might declare on the on the Danish for that <laughs> for sending those troops over in our direction. Oh, that's our port they're raiding. I see. Okay, so you guys push. They probably won't get intercepted. Nope. You guys march down to the border. Get ready to strike south. You need to get ready to hit that army. Okay, so let's just march up some of our some of the units we know we want to move up you are probably going to go up here it'll take you a couple of turns but it's doable let's march our semini up to Rostock to secure it you're a bit of a loose end. For now, anyway. So these are our men. We, Our leftover troops. Join up with that cavalry unit. This gun team can go join the garrison. This great gun can go over to Vienna. You keep pushing your cavalry up. Uh, that's not a. <laughs> I suppose that's not a bad army, actually. That's quite an unbalanced army. You're marching all the way up to go join this army. All right then. Dem Demerara has been blockaded, but that's okay. So this force needs to go. Lay siege to Orleans. Sell you go to Pensacola. Do some commercial upgrades. Let's upgrade our military near the front line. Okay, you've got a good hole on the bridge. You can stay there for now. Upgrade the Madrasa. Dresden probably can't lose their garrison at the moment. No. Minus five. Uh, you go pick up your artillery, otherwise they'll be chasing you around for a while. March you down towards Munich. Okay, let's go let's go back through some of the territories that we hold. 
a check that madrasas are still explicitly needed. Uh, don't you have to convert Archangelsk? They don't have a madrasa, do they? No, I think they've just got lots of fur traders. Okay, you go to Archangelsk first, and then march down to Petro Petrovskaya. Georgia no longer needs a Yoka Sokol, even for happiness. Uh, upgrade some of these industrial buildings. A lot of industrial buildings, actually, it would appear. So Minsk is um, no, Minsk, Minsk still needs I'd still like to convert to make Islam a bit stronger than 31% okay so yeah that's an army definitely come to attack me because there's no one else in the region can these guys leave Valletta minus three Too bad I can't actually build any good troops. Let's have a look at what Tripoli looks like. Not well garrisoned. Port is not defended. Okay, diplomacy, minor nations, Denmark. Very friendly, we're trading with them. But they're allied with both of our enemies. It might put a bit of a hole in our trade. But I'm hoping, as I build up more... Uh, we'll build up more uh, industry rather than religious buildings. That should become less of an Im less of an important detail, such as this. So Bulgaria, you no longer need your building here. Serbia, I'd still like to boost those numbers up. A lot of these territories will take just a bit of time. Well, uh, you don't need yours either. Transylvania, neither do you. Okay, so these are a few buildings that we're starting to open up to economic development. Uh, Crimea, do you have one? I don't think so. Oh, Moldavia, do you need one? Strictly speaking, no. Okay, so Denmark are allied with our enemies. Declare war. Don't call our allies in because I don't want them to be involved. <laughs> My fleet should pulverise those two fifth rates. They're both destroyed. Let's bring them back up to here to hold the, the pass. I want this army to march south towards Sarajevo. I want... This force to embark. Sail to hit Tripoli. Come on, there we go. You can't get there in time, but that's okay. Let's take a third or eight. Get them back up to Valletta. And then let's take this army that's been here for a very long time and go hit Alf Sundin. <laughs> First battle against this Danish army that's been here. <laughs> We've had an army uh, watching that Danish force for quite a long time. I, I dread to think how long it's been stood there just watching and waiting. But this is it. How else is it going to be dropping quick lime? Field artillery is going to be up on this raised position here behind this fence to engage. 
on Nizam. We're going to march straight at them. I'm going to send flanking detachments of melee infantry and janissaries around the flanks. The skirmishers are going to climb to the top of the hill. Let's put some camels and some heavy cavalry on the right. Let's have a look at our armoured cavalry up here. Oh my god. They look exactly like the French knight from the French knights from Monty Python. <laughs> I told them we already got one. Oh god. <laughs> well, that's them ruined for me. There's our artillery. Just drops a shocking amount of fire onto the enemy positions. Who's up here? Provincial Cav? So I'm going to rush my... Rush my cavalry up here. Because they're hidden in the woods. Run the Nizam. Sprint my heavy cavalry up to create an enticing new target. If they want to charge into my infantry, they're welcome to, because they're just going to go bloop. There we go. Hey, they actually ran past one of them. Send the Janissaries in. Pivot this new line. Send all of you guys up against the Dragoons. You guys disembark, get into position because the semi Janissaries are about to smash into the enemy positions. So these Janissary guards get into position to provide flanking fire into these Danish troops. Pulled back. Let's get my cavalry to go and engage their general's bodyguard. Line infantry is winning, allegedly. We don't mind if some of them rout, chiefly because if they rout, then they will rout back towards their capital. So our French knights are engaging the general bodyguard. It looks like they're after my cavalry. My um, artillery, I should say. This cavalry needs to be careful because there's lots of entrenching with enemy positions. How it says engage the general's bodyguard if they don't want to uh, play. Charge my Nizam up. Whoa, let's. Okay, let's stop that. Armed cavalry got absolutely pasted in the first engagement. Mm, 
Engage! Engage! Push on artillery off. These guys can stop firing. Good god, that's such a sea of Ottoman troops. As they try and flee. Um, I'm going to chase them down chiefly because they're all routing in a really good direction. So all of these guys fire all off. Um, let's just let... Let what happens, happens. It would be nice to kill as many of them as possible, but... Uh, sometimes things happen, like these guys getting run into. Yeah, I'm not overly bothered about maximising the efficiency of killing these guys. Look at that swarm of troops chasing them down. There's three left. There we go, they've stopped. Now they're going to get engulfed. Okay, the last one's left of these troops all the way up here. one artillery guy actually so if I do stop will they will they kill him with musketry nope wait a minute I have camels over here there, now they, he's definitely gonna escape before they get within range oh well close victory that wasn't close that was an absolute slaughter, and I love it. Awesome. So that'll push them, well, not back to their capital, but away. You guys are punishing the march level. in. You're march. within range of their capital. I don't think they'll push towards Athens. But it might be wise to just start... Ooh, Nizam Rifles. Start the recruitment of some troops, and at some point we do need to go hit the Iroquois. But they're allied with Britain, so I don't really want to hit them until I'm in a position to start doing damage to Britain, so... No rush there. Okay, so this general got some experience. The overall army has grown. You don't really have a job, so just march up. See if you can demand the surrender of the garrison. Uh, let's go and take the garrison. Or we'll go kill the garrison at Zagreb and also draw in those Ottoman troops, those uh, Prussian troops, to the west. And that'll also mean a clear run towards Venice. Which would be quite ideal, really. So, obviously it's raining. So, anticipating they're going to come from the right. Let's take... Take some infantry and form a basic front line. Then our elite infantry, or some of it anyway, and our melee infantry and our cavalry, they're going to hold position until the enemy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I want to hold. Oh, wait, who's over there? Did I forget? The Sekban Janissary unit. Well, let's run them back over here. Our field artillery is having good fun engaging them from max range. 
I can slightly pivot my line like this. Come on, deploy. What do you not like? Is there a tree or something in the way? You guys that are deploying should be running, not walking. Not there's going to be much trouble because uh, it's a significantly depleted detachment of Prussian Russian troops. In which case, because it doesn't look like they want to attack me either. I have to push out my Sarelli alone, lest this battle take forever. So this Sekban unit, you instead march up towards the middle of town. This infantry is very much over spec to deal with these Prussians. It looks like the, the horse carter, don't the heavy the horse grenadier guards don't even want to be here. So how it's just engaging someone? Looks like it's the Prussians, unfortunately, for them. Mortars, militia, militia. Field artillery just smash into that provincial line unit. Unfortunately, we've got sound problems that have popped up for whatever reason. Push up. Oh, quick claims coming in, so they're going to be very upset. Who are you? Your regulars? You're a good target for my melee infantry. My Issa really need to run. My cavalry is going to go all the way out here then in to try and hit the mortars from the rear. The Prussian infantry are falling. The light foot are just getting eviscerated. The cavalry has come out to play, sort of. Come on, there we go. Okay, cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. There we go. So my melee infantry should do a huge amount of damage to these irregulars because they don't do very good in melee combat. Okay, you guys push up and take this position here. You men push up. Okay, there's a little hillock there. This warband I need to charge into, otherwise they're just going to skirmish my guys. Bring you guys around on the flank. Yep, yeah, there we go. But you fired your volley now, sonny boy. The Janissaries got hit by some provincial militia, so let's bring my pikemen in as well. These Israelis have been hit by the provincial line. To be honest, it looks like they've kind of walked into a bit of a bit of a trap. Push you guys up. Second band's charge the garrison line. Zamandai Pikes charge that unit of militia. The sec bands run over here, then charge the militia. My Mamelukes run over here and go hit the mortar garrison. See, he always stutters. Seems like it stutters when there's rain, so I don't like fighting battles in this weather. Come on. You men are supposed to be engaging them. You're going to charge into the into the militia from the rear. Yeah, they've been broken. Charge onto that militia unit. I 
and everyone just charge onto the fifth because everyone else is generally routed. Prussians are going. They've only got one gunner left and he's had enough. You go hit the mortars. Sec burns are... They're losing against the... Oh, these are line infantry, that's why. But this unit hits the field artillery, then they can charge through and hit the militia. So they should. They might take a few casualties because of the spikes. Oh, screw it. Acceptable losses. That's not too many men. I have a big cavalry unit. Charge into the rear. Everyone else is coming at you. Prussians are gone. Charge the regiment, the fifth regiment of foot. And then that should be the end of them. Everyone else is gone, I believe. Yeah, well, there they go. Good stuff. Bit of a mercy battle. But it was a victory, nonetheless. So that is Zagreb secured. More Adriatic port secured. So you can rebuild the governor's palace. To be honest, we don't need dry docks. These guys replenish. Let's destroy the seminary and replace it with one of our buildings. Upgrade the roads. Upgrade the cloth mill. See, when you join the Ottoman Empire, uh, you grow in financial and intellectual wealth. Okay, that's pretty good. At some point, we definitely, we definitely do want to hit the Swedes and take St. Petersburg. So you're ready. You're a very, very, very much a siege army, but there's no... There are no defences to siege. We've done all our construction stuff, I think. Oh no, Austria. Maybe we didn't. Keep growing... Good stuff. Okay. I think we want to hit and turn and see what the AI elects to do. So this is part of the reason why you want to keep those good roads throughout your empire so that you can rapidly reinforce from anywhere you need. So that's the last Austrian city, Munich. then they will be destroyed and no longer part of our part of our, our League of Nations, let's say. Soon Denmark will be joining them as we continue to make good progress across Europe. And then when Sweden does attack us, we do have two armies sat um, in the Lithuania-ish region, sat in ports, ready to land and hit Finland and Stockholm to really give them pause and we do have a Danish army in port the yeah, Prussians are falling back we have some Danes in their port with troops but we do have a fleet blockading the Adriatic, so they should not be able to break out. Oh, they're marching up. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, they have had the Prussians have had a good break from from hostilities. I don't know which one that is, which army that is. I'm not going to engage. It could well have been a bridge battle, but I'd rather not take the risk because things are going really well. See, I wish it was possible an empire to demand, uh, demand to break alliances, because then I would demand that Sweden breaks off alliances with the uh, Prussians. Another force is marching up to Baluchistan, where they will be repulsed. Uh, do I want to intercept? No. Because then we'd be attacked on both sides. Italian state's fleet is growing, but they've only got one region, so when we do attack them, it will only be... There will only be the need to attack and capture... Uh, yes, we're going to auto that. We didn't lose any ships. Don't want your brig. The Venetians are moving up. Interesting. Württemberg are moving up. Are they at war with the Austrians? Maybe. Pirates are going to take our ship. Fair yeah, enough. <laughs> at least the pirates are raiding Mughal ports now as well. Right. So you march up here to stop the Venetians from being able to break out. Got lots of elite troops. And Venice is going to be a bit of a tough nut to crack. But that's why we have... We don't need to garrison you, do we? No, we don't. Upgrade you to a Madras, sir. Let's build some simony. Spies are doing good stuff. Admirals are doing good stuff. Okay, so. You guys go to Piraeus, where you can repair. This fleet can leave the army in North Africa. Hold position there. And, to be honest, could probably be joined by a squadron of third rates to grow their strength. So I would then like to have fleet pretty much here and here. If I have a fleet in each of these positions, then it will stop any action, any other fleet movements coming in from the Western Mediterranean. Get you guys onto Tripoli. Let's demand their surrender just to see if they take it. But well, they will not. So these areas that have been demolished, let's make sure they're replaced with craft workshops. No, not schools. Craft workshop. There we go. Coffee house in Dagestan. Yes, we do. Just want them to chill out. This army's going to go cover the northern passage. Don't need two generals because you're going to stay outside. It's the Janissary we want. And then this force can march towards Zahedan. Upgrade to an army staff college and an ordnance board, which means this army should actually be more... Can I build Nizam? We can build Nizam. Sweet. Build Nizam, two Samat, two Janissary Grenadiers, and let's get a, a light infantry unit. Force here in Baghdad is also nearly done, but instead of two Israeli, you will get two Nizam, and then you will be ready to march off, or even sail off, might deploy you, sell you to Bandar Abbas for rapid movement very weak forces here. You can build howitzers, which would be useful. Fleet destroyed, but it wasn't really a fleet, was it? It was a single ship. 
maintain siege there for now, chiefly because I just want to keep focusing on Europe. Maintain siege as well. Okay, so that means this guy. You may march down here, ready to hit Patras when the time comes, which probably means you guys don't really need those rifles anymore. As much as it would be nice to, to have them, I might actually start recruiting. That's a lot of rifles you can... a lot of infantry you can recruit in one turn. Okay, does Prague have a madrasa yet? I don't think it does. And this chap push on to the last, towards the last uh, Austrian territory. Can this army move out of Prague? It can. And Prague is still being taxed. So you guys march west. You guys take up position inside Prague, and this force is incredibly artillery heavy. Okay, so this odds and sods deployment. You guys get out there. You guys want cavalry. Fortunately, we already have some in the area. Let's march this force up to here. They're down to minus four, so they're very unhappy, but we can immediately garrison them with a force from behind the lines. Oh, you really want to go up here, because I've, considering I've just moved the army that was originally going up there south. Okay, Hungary no longer needs this imam. Let's push you on to Stuttgart. Same with Vienna. Let's sail down, wander down to Venice. You guys keep replenishing. Let's build a build two trade ports. Let's build two semini to keep them covered. Okay, so let's go over to this force down here. Let's go and attack Tripoli and take it from Denmark. Because they're making very, 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 very great strides across the across the continent, really. There's no one area that I'm concerned about. <laughs> We've created a Ottoman juggernaut. juggernaut. It's going to steamroll its way across the continent, which is pretty nice. Okay, so our artillery can go. Hmm. Okay, you can see it from here. Mostly see it from here. How it says work on quick climbing. Uh, let's put some two Israeli and two Royal Cairo infantry guards through the breach. Put a bunch of these guys all the way back here. Um, it's dark cavalry around, actually. Some might be useful to have. Going around the flank. Let's have a look at these mounted Nizam. Look pretty good. I like the blue. Don't quite like the, uh, the hat so much, but then again, I'm a bit weird. There we go. So you guys take out the take out the walls. Quick climbing howitzers just start to take out what you like really. Speed up time because we are just trying to make a 
make a breach and there's not really that much of a demand to uh, do a lot of damage because we've got quite a significant flanking force moving around. They do have mortars but they've only got one unit I think, not very many. This was our field artillery are oh, going to blow a hole in the breach. To be honest, now might be the time anyway. My other infantry can just march up, ready. Because they're not really doing much in the way of responding to our attacks. My god, 21st Regiment just got annihilated. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's... Oh, there's some over here as well. Magic men. We do have our Cairo Janissaries, which look pretty neat. They've got a taste of blood, but they are not veterans yet. Get one of our howitzers to start dropping quick line onto the. Oh, there we go, they've started. So there. The mortars are attacking our breaching units. positive. So some Cairo Janissaries, you guys will go block the gate. This unit will climb the walls, as will you. These men will block the gate. You guys will climb, as will you. Camels you guys will hunker down, return some good damage onto the guys in the centre. The cavalry is being depleted. Good stuff. Right, there we go, they've realised we have forces attacking around the flank. But too late. So the job of these guys is to hunker down so when the cavalry charges out, like what they're going to do here. Where's my... Oh, okay. Stop. Dump into squares. Bring up my mounted units nearer the breach. There we go. So you get out of square, climb the walls, because there's I suspect these gates are going to close. But in case they don't, let's run some infantry through them. you guys okay all you guys wait Ottoman this gatehouse is ours so one unit format like so one unit format like so. Let's switch our artillery to firing round shot. Just 
charge you guys through. Oh no, these guys. Ah, damn. Okay, let's get you guys to actually climb up. I was hoping these guys could run and capture the wall, but these guys have intercepted them. You guys hold fire and just wait in the centre. Yeah, yeah, you guys push. I don't know why our artillery has stopped firing on the... Uh, Stop firing on the centre, or stop firing on the breach. No, let's just run in. Go after their provincial cav. These guys are going after the mortars. Good. This gay house is ours. So run the troops in, run the cavalry in. Although it looks like the bulk of their forces have uh, have broken. Not all of them. There's still some units up on the wall that are still wavering. So let's focus our artillery onto them. There we go. They've routed. The wall has collapsed. Oh, there's still a unit back here, isn't there? Well, in which case, I'm just going to speed up time. Because either we'll hit one minute, the one minute limit, or uh, this unit will route. Because right now there is no other way to put it they are doomed because yeah there we go now our Israelis have started to poke their head around the corner the Chanisari guards are coming out with their with this what do they got oh, the uh, Indian swords Tolwas something like that let's end the battle there I know they're not Indian troops but I was trying to think of something other than saber <laughs> but there we go Tripoli is taken let's repair the troops let's repair the port they are an Islamic people like us because they are the former Barbary states so no problems there then let's go up to here well, this force is going to... Actually, what do you want? Oh, no. A, there are no reinforcements. And B, you probably won't need no reinforcements. Although I'm still going to do this. Just in case. Well, actually, how depleted are you? Not very. It's just the camels. Okay. Well. Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the last Danish territory in our sphere of in our sphere of influence in the Balkans. Radio. Cheers, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed.